Okay, as I was saying before, um, I realized the time got a little long. Let's get your, uh, turn off some more deer hair, flex deer hair, and just comb out the butts with your uh, fingers. To get out the under fur. Put it in your hair stacker. Or, ah, it fell up. It's just tricky. You gotta have it all the way in the hair stacker. No, you guys didn't see this, but. Uh, Scissors fall off my lap there. Just tie this in as long as your collar on top. I'm actually not going to trim this as I did in the hopper fly. Um, just one thing I do differently on the cricket. Okay. I'm going to zoom out just a little. You can just get the scale of that. Okay, grab some more black deer hair. You could variate your color a little, but not going to. Could go to like a dun, make it a two tone cricket, but not going to. Okay, brush out the butts, take your tips from the tips, tie it in, tip first. Like this. Come brush it forward. Now, since you tied in the short butt ends, or uh, tip ends, you have these long butt ends. You can just grab with your fingers, allowing you to expose the eye, and allowing you to whip finish. I stole this technique. Um, from someone else on YouTube. It's not copyrighted, so. Well, this was originally, I saw this on a muddler, so if you can find that, there's where I got my idea for this. Two wet finishes. And if you notice, I have uh, craft scissors, razor sharp. Uh, uh, uh. Just trim your bottom flat. Okay. This is my take it out of the vise. I'm going to go off camera for just a sec. If you want to see a more complete version of trimming, go to hopper fly. Okay, trim the center down first a little. Trim down one side. Trim down the other side. This head is just going to be just a little smaller than the hopper. Okay, and then trim what you missed. Okay. And just pull out any other stems uh, that you couldn't get. And there you have the finished squashed cricket or just cricket. This cricket you want to fish strictly under tree branches for uh, trout or panfish. Fish mostly, mostly for panfish, but here you go. You got the simple cricket fly. I'll adjust the camera so you can see more or less what that looks like. You can see the wind is split, so it looks like when you look at, at it underneath, here, it looks like it just got it just got squashed. You know, looks like it's sort of dead almost. And then that uh, deer hair and ackle will try to add just a little more movement. And there you have you have the cricket fly, which is good. Smaller. It's smaller than the hopper, 
popper is way bigger. Um, and you, you got the cricket fly. I'll put this back in the vise so you guys can see it. Cricket fly, very good for trout, panfish. It's good when they're not biting the hopper. Um, fish will take this for a hopper. We'll take a hopper for a cricket. Cricket fly is just smaller. Excuse me. It's smaller. Um, I tied it with the split win. You can tie it exactly the same as, you know, a hopper fly. Just one of these. But yeah, it's it's up to you. You get to dictate your time. Um, like I said before, you can tie these in size 12 to 14s. Um, could do a 16. Yeah. I mean, I have 16 streamer hooks somewhere. Might have to try that, but I just fish them from size 12 to 14. Thanks for joining me. This series went a little longer than I wanted it to. I only want a one video series, but uh, oh well. And uh, thanks for joining me.